Hello, I'm Victoria from Sleek Online Ballet Fitness. I'm here to take you through a beginners to all level stretch. This is really is suitable for everybody and it's something you should be doing daily. As a dancer, I know how important stretching is, but it really is universal for good joint health and quality of life as we all get older. Stretching is one of the things you should really be incorporating to keep fit, healthy and well. So let's get going. All you're gonna need is a mat, starting with your feet in parallel. Taking our hands back behind our head, we're gonna loosen off through our spine. Just take a bend in the knees and draw the elbows in and make a C shape with your upper back. Chin really tucked into the chest, hold it here. Get rid of all the tension and tightness. Now in the reverse, straighten up the knees and open the elbows. Push the chest to the ceiling and stretch across those shoulder points. Again, bend at the knees. Tuck the chin to chest, elbows come in and wrap around your head release across those shoulders then opening up again press the chest towards the ceiling up towards the sky and take those fingertips to the shoulders now as if you're drawing circles through the air with the edge of your elbow good up and back up and back so we're mobilizing between our shoulders where so many of us get tight sitting over computers sitting over desks good up and back well done this time it's increased the range of this movement so as we take the contraction clasp the hands drop the body head goes down in the reverse clasp the hands behind your back if you can if you can't quite get there yet just push the chest forward and release if you can clasp and stretch across again deeper stretch between those shoulder points Take the hands and again create that C shape so you're drawing the belly button back, head comes forward. Then create the biggest distance you can between your hands and your middle back. Push away, chest goes skywards and this time as you release the hands full circles, extended levers up and back for one. Good, bigger range of motion here, releasing between the shoulders, good, up and back. Nice circle and the other shoulder can follow through to keep that motion going up and back, up and back. Now we're taking into a full swing. Arms go forward, chest goes skywards. Get a stretch as you open up. Give me three more just like this. Swinging forward. So increasing our circulation, filling those lungs. Good, all the way forward and take it back. Fourth and final one. Swing the arms forward, open across the chest. And this time, taking the hand to the hip, lengthen arm towards the ceiling, stretching out those intercostal muscles. Bigger lung capacity, good. Stretch the side and looking skywards. Twice more, pad through the feet and lengthen up. Last time, pad through the feet and lengthen up. And this time, flex the palm and hold it here. Take your other hand, grab your wrist, and deepen into that stretch as you exhale out. Again, lengthening out those intercostal muscles, the one between your ribs, creating distance from your hips and your rib cage. Good, coming up, releasing at the top. Let's take that all one more time. Four swings, four reaches, and side stretch. Here we go, four, and release. Good, start to increase that circulation and open. Again, forward, chest goes skywards, mobilizing those shoulder joints up and over. Good, let's stretch the sky, alternate arm. Pad through the heel, hand to hip, stretch from the hip to the end of the fingers. Pad and press, and final one. Stretch towards the ceiling, this time flex the palm and hold it here, grab the wrist. Can you deepen that stretch on the exhale breath? Lengthen out from hip to heel of your hand. Well done, coming back to centre and open up and this time turn the heels inwards, the feet go outwards, arms across. Take a bend in the legs, so natural turn out here and draw up. Imagine your arms are like your lungs, exhale and inhale. Good, take that plie, melt into it, warming those big muscle groups. One final one, take a plie, hover and hold it here and a big long lunging pour de bras, arm comes up and over, hand to hip. Again, stretching out and looking out past the elbow. Hold it there for four, three, two, and one. Well done. If you face your side, plant your heel down to the floor. Now in this stretch, press the back heel into the floor, lengthen the calf, hips are forward, weight over your front leg. This might be enough for you right now, but if you're ready to come with me, interlace those hands, fill those lungs, and look towards the sky stretching gently back, opening across those shoulders again. And then in the reverse, stretch your front leg, 
You can put the weight into the hand, pressing into the thigh, or if you can, walk it lower and hands either side of your front leg. We're eventually working to get this nose touching the shin. But stick at a level that's comfortable for you. Hover and hold it here. Deep breath in. Exhale out and feel the length into the back of the hamstring. In the reverse, we're going to bend the back knee now and draw the front toes up. And again, you have two options. You can rest into your front thigh, but think of a long straight back, energy spiraling out of the top of the head. If you're increasing your flexibility daily, come with me, grab those toes and draw them back towards you. Get a deeper stretch into the back of that extended leg, into the calf, into the hamstring, and on the release. Let the toes go flat to the floor, hands either side of your front leg. Step the back leg back, staying on Demi Point. Get a nice natural stretch into your hip flexor and into your quad. Hold it here, and again, we have three options you can build up to. You can either stay here, or you can lower your back knee, getting a slightly deeper stretch into the hip flexor and the quad. If you're feeling well on balance, take the hands to the front thigh, keeping those hips pushed forward to maximize that stretch. Again, we have one third and final option. Can you take the same port de bras we took on our heel stretch? Arms go up, chin goes skywards, keeping that balance, keeping that focus. And same thing again, waterfall those hands either side of your front leg. Lift the back knee up and step the leg back to join. The leg in extended plank, draw the tummy in, press the shoulders down. Now keeping the feet close together, bend at the knees and drop the hips towards me. Stretch across those glutes. Nice mobilization of the lower back here and back to our central alignment, holding your core strong. Again, we bend at the knees and drop the hips to the opposite side and stretch across those glutes. This time, continue down, drop the hips to the floor, swing the legs around and join the soles of the feet together. Sitting up tall, we're going to create some resistance before we open up into these hips. Prayer position, elbows into knees. So you're pushing inwards with the knees, <clears throat> outwards with the hands. Hover and hold it here, create that resistance. This is not a comfortable position for you to sit in. Place a small cushion or a yoga block just underneath your bottom. Press and hold. And on the release, take hold of the ankles and use your elbows to gently open up into those hip sockets. Again, a small cushion underneath the bottom can give you a more correct position for this stretch. If you're not super flexible yet, we'll work on it together. Gently open up through those hips. And one more time, reset it, create the resistance. It's a great way to stretch, adding resistance and then release. You lengthen off those muscle fibers just a little more. Hover and hold and release. Gently press those elbows, open into the knees. Enjoy that stretch and then extending one leg out. Come to a tall seated position. Portera those arms out. Take a big side portera and slide your hand as far as it'll go down the leg, looking up towards the top elbow. And again, if you're able, draw those toes back and gently pull them towards you. Try to wrap this chest forward and open towards the sky. Good, holding it there. Feel the length in the side of the body. Feel the length in the inner thigh, stretching into the calf, and then reversing. Point the toe, come off this stretch and place the hand behind you. Swing this arm past your chest and push the hips forward. Again, lengthening out into those hip flexors. You reach in opposition towards the back corner, and lengthen from fingertip to toe. Well done. As you lower down, one more stretch here, getting into this IT band. If you can maneuver to bend this knee back behind you, just pull away and get that very hard to get to region, our IT band, which connects right down onto our kneecap. If it gets too tight, it can pull it out of tracking. We can get knee problems. It's great to keep it loosened off. A hard one to get to. If you want to increase this stretch, down to forearm and again, reaching back towards the corner, hold for four, for three, two, and one. Excellent. And as you come up, just extend this leg out and round again, and then onto our fronts. Move your hands to your plank position again. Before we come there, just tuck those toes underneath. Get a gentle rock back, 
stretch out into those metatarsals, into the balls of the feet, up into the Achilles and the calf. Gently rock forward and one more time we rock it back. Press the heel down towards the floor as close as it'll get. And rock it forward. Tuck both toes underneath. Working the sequence back down in the reverse to come to standing, it's like everything again. So we bend at the hips, drop to the side. Draw everything back to center. Again, bend at the hips, stretch across those glutes, mobilize that lower back, and back to center. This time, lifting the bottom high. Send those heels towards the floor, flatten out your upper back. Now the important thing is trying to get those heels down to the floor, so if they're not quite there, you can step them in another inch and try to get that pyramid shape. Good, start to walk the feet alternately in towards the hands and coming up a way that's comfortable for you. If you need to take a little bend in those knees, do, but keep that tummy engaged as you roll up to protect your back, vertebrae at a time, coming up to standing. Roll the shoulders up and back for one. Take a little bend of the legs. Increase the range. Back for two. And third one, arms all the way up. And release into the ceiling. Well done, coming to face me. Plant those feet back where we began. We're taking this whole thing on the second side. Hands behind your head. Can we go a little further this time? Does the spine feel more mobile? Bend at the knees. Drop those elbows in and hold. Exhale out. Breathing in, fill the lungs, open chest towards the sky. Again, up over. Elbows wrap in, chest goes skywards. Open up, take the hands down towards your shoulders, starting opposite arm. We circle back, up and back, good. Up and back, up and around as if you're doing perfect circles with a piece of chalk on the end of your elbow. Increase the range, grab the hands, suck it back, contract, make that C shape. Mobilize that back, get rid of tension. Then if you can clasp the hands, if not, just come to that bow of a ship position. If you can, press and release and go a little deeper. Again, clasp the hands, draw the tummy back, drop the head, make that C shape and then recover. Hands behind you, push away from your middle spine, feeling a little looser, a little warmer. Let's sp spiral those arms back, up and back. Good, up and back. Should feel a little freer now, second set, up and back. Circle big arms through the air, up and back, up and back. Last one, up and back, reaching out, we step for one. Good, press for two, a little faster now. We move through this sequence and press, hold it here, flex the hand, grab the wrist, draw away in the opposite direction, lengthen out and back up through your center. Swing it forward and release. Forward and release, good. Circulation going now and open up, forward and start alternate side. Press and lengthen out through the feet, stretch to the ceiling. Look towards your top hand and hold the last one. Flex the palm, take hold of the wrist, lengthen out that side from hip right to the heel of your hand. Well done, hover and hold it here. Coming back to center, opening out and this time turning our heels in, our toes outwards one more time. Arms come across the chest, let's demi plie, open hips and send it down for one. And draw up. Again for two, imagine those arms are like lungs. So they match your inhale and your exhale. Good, demi and stretch, final time. Take your demi plie, hover and hold it here. Good, big port de bras up and over to the side and look up past your top hand. Good, if you want to increase this stretch, as you progress, you can always go a little deeper, reach to the side. Well done, good, turning to face the side. Plant the back heel down, hips go forward. Stretch into that back calf, hold it here. If you want to increase this stretch again, clasp the hands, send the head and chest up towards the sky. Well done, as you release, waterfall those arms up and over your front leg. Extend the back toe back, feel that nice stretch into the hip flexor and into the quad of the second side. Again, three options, you can hold it here. If you want to come with me, we lower that leg. You can stay with this. We'll take the hands off to the thigh, 
If you want to build up to this, this is fine. This is a daily stretch we'll work on. If you're feeling ready, interlace those hands and try for that full extension, skywards, chest goes up. Deep breath in. As you exhale out, take the hands either side of your front foot and extend the back toe back. Strong across that plank, shoulders press down. Take a bend in the knees and drop hips to the side. Stretch across those glutes, draw everything back to center. And one more time, stretch across the glutes. And this time we lower the hip to the floor. We swing those legs around, back, soles of the feet together, lifted tall up towards the ceiling. Create some resistance, press the palms together, push the elbows out into the knees and hold it there for four. Keep pushing, three tension into those muscles because then we're going to release it enjoy it even more press those elbows out open up into those hips gentle rock if that feels good one more time create that resistance pressure through the palms elbows pushed into the knees hold it keep that resistance on and then release it off open out either side good sit up tall. Remember a small block underneath your bottom or a cushion will help get this position so you can sit up tall. Open that second leg, flex the foot if you can and slide all the way down towards it. Now try to get this feeling of chest press towards the ceiling so we don't let everything drop forward. Let those lungs expand. So important at the moment, moment lung health. Extend and release in the opposition. Take the hand behind you. Sweep this arm across your body. Push the hips forward and lengthen back behind you. Opposition stretch here across your hip flexors, across your torso. Really good. As you come down, just bend this knee back at an angle that's comfortable for you. Push those hips forward and this might be enough here for you to get a nice stretch across the IT band which connects down to the kneecap keeping that loosened off. Make sure we have good tracking of our knees. If you want to, relax back into that forearm and again, reach towards the back corner. Lengthen out, stretch, hold for four. Hold for three, for two. Feel nice and energized for the warmth of the sun wherever you're doing this stretch. Try and take deep breaths and put yourself in that happy place wherever it is for you. Coming up, extend that leg and this time coming up and over. Place the back foot on the ball of the foot and gently rock the weight back. Get a deeper stretch into the calf, stretching into the ball of the foot, releasing off those metatarsals. Send the body weight forward and one more time, deepen that stretch. And this time as you come forward, step the other leg back and find your plank. Well done, final time, stretch across the glutes, mobilize that lower back, engage the core to draw you back to your central alignment. Once more, second side. Draw everything back to center and this time lift your bottom high, press the heels flat and find that pike position. Give the head a little shake from side to side. Try and flatten out those shoulders. So we're aiming to get that last hump in the back, pressed flat towards the floor. Start to work those heels individually down to the floor, lengthening the backs of the legs and coming up however is comfortable for you. You may want to use your hands, you may want to bend those legs, but engage the tummy, draw it in to protect that lower back. Roll your shoulders up and back and little bend of the knees up and back. Then increasing that range one more time, chest towards the ceiling. Well done. Come to face me and find a natural turnout for you. See if you can close your eyes. You might feel a slight sway until you find that stillness. Hold it there. Good, open your eyes. And if you can, just test it up to demi point. Think of length and energy coming out of the top of your head. You're getting taller, even as you lower to the floor. Keep that length and lift for the rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.